I thought I'd share a bit of T.E. Lawrence with you today as we think about today's message, This Too Shall. And uh, he's here in this memorial in his Arab outfit, which was regarded as unfit for uh, burial in Westminster. Shows how the times have changed and yet he was such a revolutionary, such a man of resilience. So what would you associate with the phrase, this too shall? And if you went to the right uh, schools, you might associate that with this too shall pass. A great phrase of resilience that uh, have kept many of us going through difficult times. He went through so many difficult times and yet persevered. This too shall pass. But I'd like to share another this too today and this too, almost like another phrase in the phrase book, the vocabulary of this too shall phrases. This too shall serve us. This too shall serve us. We face many, many problems. And when we think this too shall pass, it's almost like we're wishing away this phase of our life so that we could get back to some sort of normality. Normality? Is that a new word? Normality, a bit like COVID, you know, this too shall pass. And what we can do is then lose years waiting for these things to pass, whereas he didn't. He was always fully engaged. So if we have this new thought, this too shall serve us, then we can look at our circumstances, grim though they may be in the present, and go, this too shall serve us. And as soon as you do that, you have a completely new perspective on the world because you're looking for opportunities to see how adverse circumstances could serve your purpose, could serve your good. And if you don't know what your purpose is, it doesn't really matter. This too will serve your good. So let me tell you a little story to illustrate. I have three wonderful sons, all of whom have gone through difficult times, as all of us have. I'm thinking of one of them who's been through probably three grim years. Young family, he was let go by his employer at church and it wasn't good. And for over a year he was unemployed. And I could see the decline in his energy. Now I'm sure he ran through his mind, this too shall pass but I'm not sure the program was there, this too shall serve me, be to my advantage in the end. It's gonna be a story with a happy ending. What happened was after a year, he got a job with a really good company, really fascinating company. But in the meantime, he pursued one of his major passions, two of his major passions in actual fact, uh, spending time with the family and academic development. He's now got more qualifications than his dear dad. God bless him. So if he looked back on that grim time from the position of achieving his academic qualifications, he could say with all confidence, do you know what? This too has served me. But there's more to the story. It's a good story, isn't it? What happened next is he got a job with a really good company that uh, does sensory marketing. So they help influence customer behaviors through scent. Amazing. And he was with them for a while and COVID struck, and so he was furloughed. Guess what he could do during his time of furlough? Spend more time with the family and learn more stuff, get more academic qualifications. Looking back, whilst that might have been frustrating, he's a real social person, couldn't be with the people in the office, he could say with all confidence, this too has served me. And then they let him go. Here we go again, but he's getting used to the rhythm now so it's kind of like, this too shall serve me. And now he's in a job that really suits his, what I would say, his calling, his vocation. And he's still able to study. He's still getting time with the family. So all of a sudden, this dreadful period is becoming much, much better. A time of abundance for him and prosperity. And looking back, he would have to say with all confidence, this has served me, this time has served me. So I'm really curious to know today, what times have you been through where in the midst of the time you went, ah, oh, this is terrible. And then afterwards you've gone, you know what? That really did me the power of good. Now I don't wanna be naive here because sometimes we go through terrible things in our lives and it does not serve us. It can crush us, it can even destroy us. So let's not be naive, but for the majority of circumstances, you can take what's happened to you, bad and good, 
and make it serve you, make it boost your resilience, make it improve your character even. So uh, do share. What times have you been through and what have you learned? Were you looking back, you could go, this too has served me.